All over print or AOB products are some of our best sellers here at Printify and for good reason. I mean, being able to put your designs anywhere on an item, why wouldn't you? The thing is not every design is meant for AOP, especially if it needs to wrap all the way around that item. So is there a way to create wraparound designs that come out exactly like you want them to? I'm Talish from Printify and that is just what I'm gonna figure out. If you're not familiar with AOP, you might be wondering what a wraparound design even is. Basically, it's a design that needs to go around or cover all the sides of a 3D object. Now, these objects can be non-apparel, cylindrical items like mugs or tumblers, or can be textile-based items like t-shirts, bags, socks, and more. Now, on our site, you'll notice we don't exactly advise creating wraparound designs for AOP items, but why? Well, the issue most people have is where their design designs continue over the seams or edges of an item. Now what ends up happening there is that part of their design doesn't match up with the rest. Instead, where that design continues on will appear disconnected or not aligned. Now this is frustrating for anyone with a text or an image that needs to appear whole and continuous. So does that rule out these type of designs entirely for AOP products? Why don't we ask a designer? So I'm here with one of our designers, Linda. You've seen her before in our many other design videos. Linda, thanks for doing this for me today. No problem. So explain it to me. Why is it that every time I do wraparound designs that my edges are always off? Why does that keep happening to me? So it is a challenge to design for AOP because you start on a flat surface that you have in the preview and yeah, things can make sense like that, but once the design is actually applied to a product. There's actually connection points in 3D. That's one thing you have to keep in mind while designing. And then there's also the challenge in production. Those connection points can be seams that mm -hmm. can create like some more ink going there and also just some natural misalignment while stitching the pieces together. This is the thing that I always forget about is that for some AOP products, especially with apparel, they're actually printed on separately and then stitched together afterwards. So even though it might look good flat when you actually, like you said, get to those seams and you may have a little bit more ink in some places than others, that's usually what causes that misalignment. But this leads me to my next question. Does this mean that these type of designs are just a no-go at all when it comes to AOP? Uh, well, not necessarily. It also depends on the complexity of the product. Right. You can have a tumbler that is basically like one strip, mm -hmm. one connection point, which is sort of it's manageable. It's a cylinder, yeah. It's a cylinder. Uh, while if you would have like a more complex product, for example, a backpack that right. has multiple seams together, if you want to make all those connection points work, that's a much bigger challenge. Very complicated. Rather have a different solution for it. What if it's like something apparel based, like say I'm printing on a t-shirt, do wraparound designs work at all for those type of products? Uh, they can work. There's like a couple of cheats you can use <laughs> to have a bit more success with it. It's better to have a monochrome uh, design. Single color, yeah. Yes, because if you have uh, multiple colors that can create uh, overprint, plus the connection points, it can create like a bit too many glitches, perhaps. Yeah, more registration. Yeah. Right, this is an important term in printing. So registration basically means how well colors are applied to a printing surface. So whether or not all those colors are in the right position so that your final image comes out super crisp. And this is especially important if you have, say, an image that has multiple colors because now you have more elements at play that need to be perfectly aligned for that image at the end to look cohesive. So some printers will have a higher registration, meaning that these gaps or sort of these elements are more out of line, they're more noticeable, and some will have a lower registration where you can barely notice them at all. And this kind of varies printer to printer, but it's something to keep in mind if you're creating a wraparound design or any design really that includes a lot of colors, correct? Yep. Yeah. So what else do I need to keep in mind if I'm creating a wraparound design for an AOB product? Uh, so another thing to keep in mind would be how the design looks like, how mm -hmm. precise it is. If you're aiming for something really precise, geometric, with tight connection points, that can be a real challenge with the seams and yeah, 
some overlays that can happen. So I would rather suggest to go for something a bit more loose, loose flowing. Yeah. But what if I didn't want to take that risk every single time? If I said, okay, I know these hacks work, but I want to make sure that I have a design that's going to come out every single time the way that I want it to. Is there a wraparound design that could work like that? For sure. I would say patterns is right. your friend. Patterns. And that would be my choice as well. Mm -hmm. You can still be creative with them and they're quite easy to scale in large or small. You can go as colorful as you want and that's kind of always the safest option with AOP products. Awesome, well, thanks for doing this for me, Linda. No problem. <laughs> Creating an AOP design is more than just blowing up some artwork and slapping it onto an item. More design space means more consideration when it comes to getting it right. But if you're looking for more AOP design tutorials, check out these videos to get you started. And while you're at it, give this video a like if it helped you, comment those questions if you have them down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more design tips from Printify.